All right, let's go down on the field. Trey Mancini joins us right now. He must be tired. He was on base all day and running around out there, but pretty good way to spend four hours uh, on a Sunday afternoon, I guess, Trey. Yeah, yeah, it was a, uh, a good day out there, and, um, you know, I'm really proud of the way that the guys um, stayed the course. Uh, we, we gave up the lead, and, and to get a run in the top of the ninth against, um, you know, one of the best closers in the game was huge for us. Trey, what about Chris Ellis today, man? I tell you, he went out in a career-high innings pitch, a career-high pitches. He went out and just blanked the Yankees over five innings, a big-time situation. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, yeah, Ellis, uh, the first time we saw him was actually against us when he was with the Rays, and then the next week we picked him up, and um, I'm really happy we did. Um, you know, I love the way he pitches, and, and um, he's got great stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy he's on our team, and he showed what he can do today. So you were talking about grinding earlier today, and it's like that for everybody. This Your circumstances are a little different, but you reach five times today. You look like the swing is good. Uh, you're hitting it the other way with authority today, the home run last night. Uh, looks like you're in a good spot. Yeah, yeah. And when I said that, I was alluding to, yeah, like just kind of the mental aspect, especially in the first year after, um, you know, you're diagnosed and, and go yes. through chemo. It's tough. Uh, you know, you have to get checked up every three months. And um, kind of when that time creeps, creeps up, there's a lot of anxiety that goes along with it. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, and anybody else who's gone through something similar knows, um, you know, it's really hard to block it out. So um, it's been a strange year, but I've been trying to just, you know, stay the course, like I said, and, um, and, and try to remove all that from my mind whenever I go out there every night. Let's talk about the important things, Trey. Who's got Notre, uh, who's Notre Dame playing uh, this weekend? <laughs> Florida State tomorrow night. I knew you um, knew yeah, that. that, you'll, that be, yeah, you'll be all over that. We're opening sure. on a Sunday, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm excited. It's a uh, it's a new team. Uh, I mean, we have some returning guys that are absolute studs, but by and large, we have a lot of new starters, uh, new quarterbacks. So I'm excited to see them go out there tomorrow. You, um, and I've got high hopes, as I always do. <laughs> and Ben would like to remind you. Uh, that LSU plays UCLA tonight. Oh, yeah, if you're, tonight if, if you're you bored, to uh, but, uh, but I know Trey, he would know all about Notre Dame. You could tell he is locked in and ready absolutely. to go to the football season. Yeah, I'm lo yeah but uh, I, I like LSU to have a good comeback season, too, this year. I think I think they're going to be um, a really good team. The man knows college football. He Trey, knows it. Great day. Congratulations. Congratulations, Trey. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys.